The age old question, which AR that is battle proven is better? The KAC or the LMT? So what do we have today, ladies and gentlemen? We have what some would consider the Gucci ARs in the AR world. We have the Knight's Armament SR15, and then we have the LMT MRP. Let's take a look. So some people in this argument may say that the Knight's Armament AR scores lower due to having proprietary parts. Well, we're not satisfied with that and we're here to prove that wrong. The first argument would be that because the bolt is proprietary that you can't use a mil spec bolt. Eh. So we took out the proprietary bolt from the Knight's gun and we put in a mil spec BCM bolt and we are going to run it and see if in a pinch or if you wanted to switch it, you could. So let's see, weapon is clear. All right, hobble on over here. Ran just fine, told you guys. Another argument not specific to the KAC is that Gucci ARs can't shoot steel. Let's see. Okay, so I've got some nasty Russian steel to run through this thing. You guys see we have some of these and we have some real funky ones here. So let's load this up. Okay, let's see. Check the weapon. The weapon is clear. Okay. So let's load this up. Weapon is safe. Clear. Looks like she ran. Now let's talk about the LMT. One of the crowning things about the LMT MRP is that you can change out your barrel for different calibers and lengths. Uh, you can change out your whole system, your barrel, your bolt, to be DI or piston. Now we're currently running the DI system, but if you wanted to, you could throw the piston system in there, whatever barrel in certain calibers that you want and be good to go. Now, what about reliability? So. The Knights claim that they can be ran 20,000 rounds without being cleaned. That's insane. The LMT does not promise that. However, we haven't had an issue. So we're gonna need some more time with this overall so we can really put these things through the ringer. I can get them nice and dirty, uh, run lots of rounds through them, different weather, all that jazz that we normally do. And this is just a journey of kind of comparing these two firearms because they are so loved. They are cult classics in the firearms community. They are the Gucci, awesome, everybody loves them, right? So let's keep pushing them together and see how they do. Definitely keep watching. We'll have more coverage on these. We'll see you next time.